All right, so in this video, we're going to be going over the attach method or the attach feature inside of the Cricut Design Space and what it does for you, okay? So typically, we, we are all used to using text. And, you know, for this example, we have multiple lines and we do want to maintain these multiple lines. And it works just fine whenever we're using text because if I click the Go button, and we take a look at the mat right here, it's all centered perfectly for us to possibly use vinyl. Everything is positioned exactly where we would like. Okay, so that works out great for text. But when it comes to the fact of us bringing in an SVG, and I'll have that available for you to download here underneath the video, is that... Um, that it doesn't appear to work the same way. So as you can see, this right here is that same that same phrase anyway, just in a different font. But I would like to cut this out and have it be exactly, just like we saw before, exactly positioned in this exact manner, okay? But when I click the Go button, you'll notice that it immediately goes into paper saving mode and you would think that I'd have to go ahead and rearrange everything back the way I had it on my mat. Well, that's not the case. And uh, Cricut Design Space has added uh, the feature called Attach. And we get to that by selecting the object or uh, you know group of items that we are trying to attach and keep their position relative to each other. And in the Layers panel, we have this little paper clip that says attach. And when we click that, uh, you, you'll notice uh, that they say this is an attached set. It's inside of our uh, little window here. But when we go click go, that's where you'll see the big difference, okay? So now you can see that it has maintained its spacing relative to where you actually uh, had the letters to each other. And of course you can move this to where you would actually like to cut. but it no longer went into paper saving mode. So that's what the attach feature does. And if you ever uh, get an SVG file and you're trying to keep things the same, uh, the same spacing anyway, that's what you'll have to do, okay? So go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and download that SVG file and we will see you in the next lesson.